welcome back. New businesses that want to get into the paper game might want to take a leaf out of one local company's book. It's been almost 100 years since Top Flight found their place in the paper industry, and today they convert enough paper every year to circle the world 13 times. If you've purchased loose leaf paper or notebooks at Target or Costco, or received an envelope from Blue Cross Blue Shield, you've held their handiwork in your hand. Back to school is big business inside this Chattanooga factory where packing paper is their bread and butter. George Robinson's grandfather helped start the company in 1920. We can make almost 90 million notebooks a year. Uh, we, have, uh, we also make um, uh, uh, the common loose leaf filler paper um, that, you would buy, that a school kid would buy for um, their supplies. But before it's backpack ready, Top Flight starts with a 2,300-pound roll of paper. This is building, uh, it's building tension within the paper. These rollers turn pure white. And you have blue lines and red lines. Into wide ruled. You print the lines on the front side and the back side. Then the paper is cut to order and counted. And so you see these little pliers move in right here, and it pulls out every 40 sheets. Punched with holes and packaged with plastic. A nearby machine threads the wire through the millions of notebooks that Top Flight touches, where almost 50-year employee Virginia Estes feeds the line. When I was in school, I was using paper from Top Flight. Just one of 150 employees who keep this paper company purring. When, when, when I tell people what I do, um, they say, wow, do you make those in the United States? And well, we don't always make it in the United States, we make it here in Chattanooga. Top Flight also makes notebooks that are sold in college bookstores in all 50 states. And a lot of the envelopes for the direct mail you receive in your mailbox, you guessed it, came from their Chattanooga factory.